Hello there, hello there, there. In this video, we're going to be looking at managing store accounts or customer accounts, okay? Customer accounts. Um, this is a little piece of the jigsaw which is not too important right now and maybe doesn't make much sense, but later on when we get into the business of checkouts and managing orders and everything, the customer accounts are going to be very important, okay? Now, I've created a table called store underscore accounts. By the way, You'll notice that all of the tables that are directly to do with this online shop get called store underscore, right? This is so that it's easy to uh, switch stuff to other websites if we need to do that in the future, okay? So it's called store accounts and you can see the structure here. You might want to pause the screen. I'm just gonna save time and show you it, okay? Uh, there's all of the columns, 13 of them, and it's pretty straightforward. Now, I'm gonna put the SQL for this on the Insider Club website. I think we're at lesson number 20, so if you cannot be bothered writing the code out for the table, just go to the Insider Club website, have a look at Lesson 20, and you'll get the code there, okay? So there you go, and hopefully that saved some time. Uh, next, I'm going to create a module uh, called Store Account. So if we go into the Modules folder, uh, we have a thing called Copy This, and I'm going to duplicate that. It's exactly the type of thing that we've been doing uh, over and over. So here's store accounts now. I've created that module. And now I'm going to prep the store accounts module. So I'll rename that and we'll call this store accounts. Okay. And this is easy. This is stuff that you've done before. Nothing new here. It's all nice and easy. So we rename the class and now I'm renaming the model. The model that's being referenced, store accounts, that's that. Then we go into the model, mother the models folder, and I'm going to call this MDL store. Oh, gee, my fingers have stopped working. Store accounts, uh, there we go. And we rename the class here, store accounts, and we rename the table. Okay, store accounts. All right, so that's us. We now have a module that's all ready to go, okay? Uh, the next stage is I'm going to go into, and I'll just show you what's happening. Now, we've got this thing where we need to type in the address if we want to manage items and stuff. It's not too cool. So, Let's add a couple of options to the top left navigation that uh, that will help us to find our way around this admin panel, okay? So I'm going to open up admin.php and I'm going to scroll down to the bit with the navigation. Here it's here. Do you see how we've got this uh, thing going on here? So I'm just going to add a couple of links. I'll keep the dashboard link in because that's going to be handy, right? Even though we don't have a dashboard at this stage. But I'm going to paste in a couple of new links. One of them is going to be uh, manage items and the other link is going to be uh, accounts. Okay. And where we have the address here, we'll just jump into PHP and we'll have the base URL like so. Actually, we don't need a semicolon if it's short tags. And then we've got store items manage for the top one. And then store accounts manage for the bottom one. If we hit refresh, and you'll see that we've got those new options on the top left. All we need is a couple of icons. So for store items, I'm going to make the icon a little tag. And for store accounts, I'm going to make the icon a briefcase, okay? So we do that, hit refresh, and here we are. The navigation is rocking and rolling. You'll notice that it's given the store items a blue background. This is something that happens automatically with this bootstrap template that we've used, and it's very, very cool. Now, we've got this store items manage thing. I think it looks pretty good. How about 
if we open up store items, the controller, how about if we find that manage thing and we copy this, okay, and we open up store account, and let's just paste this manage into store accounts because they are remarkably similar. However, we don't have a column called item title, so let's change that to last name. We're going to collect all of the store accounts and we're going to order by last name. So if we click on accounts, you'll see that it's trying to open up a view file called manage. There's no real uh, surprise there. So I'm going to go uh, into store items. I'm going to grab that manage view file, copy it. And I'm going to chuck that inside the store accounts folder like so, okay? So now, if we refresh the page, you'll see that it draws a table up. It's kind of cool. Now, we've still got manage items happening and mentions of items, but this is not a bad start, okay? Um, so let me just clear the decks here. Simplify, simplify. And we'll go into store accounts, views, manage, and I'm going to do some changes to this table here. Now, the first change I'm going to do is I'm going to change the tag icon to the briefcase icon, okay? And then where it says items inventory, I'm going to change that to customer accounts. And with these columns here, I'm going to have first name, and then I'm going to have last name. Then I'm going to have company. And then I'll have date created. And that'll be nice. Okay, that'll do nicely. Um, anything else? Well, we've got a headline here that says manage items. We can change that to manage accounts. But you know something? I'm going to do something very cool. Because... I'm going to go in and do a search and replace in the entire folder just to make sure that there's no mentions of store items anywhere. So I'm going to do a search for the word item and replace with account. Notice this is case sensitive, okay? It's case sensitive. I'm going to say replace. And we have two occurrences, so that's cool. I'm going to save and close. That's good. Now I'm going to do the same again, find in folder. This time I'm going to do a search for store items. And I'm going to change uh, that to store accounts. So again, searching the entire module. And we're replacing, saving and closing. And... Um, I think that's probably about it. Now let me just have a quick look and make sure everything's okay. Um, right, we've got create item URL. Now that's not particularly cool. Create item URL. So I'll take uh, create item URL and we'll replace that with create account URL. Okay. Okay. That's us. And if we've missed anything, then I'm sure we'll notice it later on, okay? So if we refresh the accounts page now, you'll see that it says manage accounts. We have the table all ready to go. Now, there are no accounts on the database, which is obviously the reason why this is uh, looking like this. But nevertheless, I think it's looking pretty cool. Look at the briefcase and everything. Look at how it goes blue on the navigation, we go to items and items goes blue. So this is kind of cool. It's a good start and we're gonna continue in the next video. Bye.